I met Don at what was A&M College at that time. Uh, we had been to a Vesper meeting at the BSU, and a group of us stopped at the corner drug for a soda, and it turns out that my roommate knew him and introduced us. And we made our first date and went to the library. <laughs> I kept calling her and she kept saying no. And I finally, I was about to give up and finally said, well, I'll call her one more time and, and, and did. And that started a long, long relationship. We have three children. Two of our children are adopted and one natural born and we have forgotten which one. God has really blessed us with a family that we love and they love us. And we've had a very, very close family life. We have six grandchildren, five girls and one boy. They're scattered now all the way from Buffalo, New York to Colorado Springs, Colorado, but uh, we've enjoyed them immensely. I've always had a passion for woodworking and some years ago got involved in doing some wood turning and that is what I love to do. It's what I would spend all my time doing if I didn't have to do other things. When people ask me how long does it take to do one of these, there's no real answer to that because sometimes I end up going out to some place where there's trees have been cut and I end up cutting them and then you got to lug them home and then you got to get them sized down and, and saw it into a circle and mount it on the lathe and that's all work and when you get to that point now you have some fun of watching the wood chips fly and seeing what happens. Each wood has its own personality and I I like to think that that's a kind of reflection of life because the flaws in this where it's had a knot or it's been broken off or a lightning struck or something is what gives it the beauty. And to me, that's what life is. Those hard knocks that we experience are what brings out the beauty in people. We happened to have some money that we wanted to give, and we wanted to give it to some ministry, and we considered several alternatives. And we believe in the cooperative program and the way it reaches out and, and uses the resources that are given to support the kingdom. And Falls Creek is associated with it, and so that and our love for Falls Creek and the ministries there led us to give the Falls Creek. It does minister to a lot of people, and I think that was one of the main reasons that we chose to donate to Falls Creek. <laughs>